Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm not gonna lie, this is my third time recording this intro, so please bear with me. Um, the first one did not flow right. The second one, I really did not like the way I sound and I felt like my, when I was trying to talk, like my words were like jumping all over the place and it wasn't making any sense. Not that it wasn't making any sense, but I was taking a lot of unnecessary pauses in the middle of the sentences and it just, it wasn't flowing right. So this is my third <laughs> intro. And I love letting you guys know that, that this is not that it's, oh my gosh, so difficult, but even like, I'm just looking and I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't like this. Like when I was watching the playback, I was like, mm, I'm not with it. And to be quite honest, it also didn't feel natural of how I was talking because I, I was putting on my customer service voice. And if you don't know what that is, Google it <laughs> or ask somebody. I was not with it, to be quite honest. Therefore, here's to, uh, what is this? <laughs> trial, trial, no, here's to the third try, right? Third time to charm. I hope you you guys enjoy this video and if you would like to keep up with my family and what we are up to, you could um, subscribe to our channel and make sure you have the notifications turned on. And if you have any questions, you can always inbox me or write me on my social media platforms, which will be listed down below. And um, enjoy. To start things off, I am doing a massive, life update because this is exactly what this video is about massive life update i think the last time i filmed one of these was back in may i believe or april i think it was in april because it was before i got my birth control removed and um a lot has happened for, since um since april all the way up until now and we are in november a week before thanksgiving so just um, bear with me, you guys. I have a lot to catch you up on. And I did ask on my Instagram, which I will, you know, add down here below, um, my, my Instagram handle. And I did ask on Instagram, on my IG story, I'm sorry, <laughs> if you guys had any questions for me. And I got a few questions. So thank you guys. Thank you for those who sent me questions because I greatly appreciate it. To be quite honest, I was, I was not expecting anything. So don't, but don't mind to me. Um, so I will be answering those questions to, more towards the end of the video. So I can get through recording this massive life update starting from April and treading on from there. And just to give a disclaimer, I am well aware that in the last updated video that I made, I got my, my, I got the dates wrong on there. I got, um, you know, the, the month of conceiving a child up until when they were gonna be born. I got those months off, you know, I know I was wrong. I think I cut it off by like a month or two. Um, it, it's just, it's a lot. So here I am and let's get on with this update. So for anyone who does not know, I have been, me, my husband CJ and Jaden, we have been living with my in-laws since, since May of 2017, all the way up until July of 2019. So we spent two years and a few months living with our in-laws. My in-laws, not his, you know what I mean. So it was time for us to move out um, because we were planning on having another child and the house would have been, the house would have definitely been crowded, adding another um, tiny human to the mix. And you know, it was just, it was just time. I'm forever grateful that they allowed us into our own, in, Jesus. Forever grateful that they allowed us into their home and be able to live there for two years. It is, it was honestly, it's a blessing. Before I continue, I apologize for the glare from my glasses. I don't have anti-glare glasses, so I apologize. We are forever grateful for for their assistance, for them helping 
for allowing us into their homes with open arms and excuse the noise they're doing construction <laughs> right outside and I'm of course on the forefront of it so anyway this time though CJ was um still attending school um you know working on his bachelor's degree which by the way he ended up graduating um I forgot the exact date but it was in June CJ completed his bachelor's uh, degree program and he got his degree so yay <laughs> very happy it was a stellar moment so let's backtrack a bit let's go a little bit back so i think it was april 2nd i want to say around april 2nd or whatnot i do have it in a previous video where i will link it below is when i got my birth control removed and the birth control i was on was the next one on now when i got it removed obviously i knew that the chances of me getting pregnant was going to skyrocket no matter what i was very happy and really relieved because i was like yes like this is the start of the next chapter in a sense now it's like in anyone's ball you know ball court no oh my gosh ball game i don't know i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so after i got it removed and whatnot we had already had we already had a trip plans to go to Vegas beginning of May. Now, I specifically remember being like, okay, I want to get the birth control removed because, you know, I had this whole timeline in mind. I wanted to make sure like, you know, the baby was going to be born in 2020 because I love the even numbers, blah, blah, blah. You know, life has, life has a funny way of just throwing things at you and it has a funny way of playing out. The baby is due, by the way, the baby is a boy and he is due on January of 2020 but we'll get that's like a whole nother thing because i wanted um to have the baby in february so that's why i was trying to get the timelines right anyways that will be later on so we had a trip i already planned to go to vegas i i will link those videos below as well our, my, our vegas vlog but i made it a very strong point that i did not want to be pregnant in vegas spoiler alert spoiler alert i was pregnant in vegas i did not know i had no idea i was pregnant in vegas i really did i really didn't know back in april i was just like okay i don't want to be you know i don't want to be pregnant in vegas because i just wanted my one last leg shebang before the you know before we tried to conceive for a baby you know whatever the case may be that didn't plan out the way that i wanted to Obviously, we are all adults here, and we know the consequences of um, participating in certain events, <laughs> and that can lead to other, lead to a baby being the outcome of it, being pregnant. So I'm not gonna get too much in detail about that because you guys don't need to know about all that. But the whole point is. I didn't know we ended up going to Vegas. I had no symptoms. I think when I when we went to Vegas, I think I was already five weeks pregnant, to be quite honest. So I had no idea. Like I said, I had absolutely no idea. Everything was fine. It's crazy though, because when I was in Vegas, I was um I was drinking some alcoholic beverages. <laughs> I was eating everything and anything. I went I remember one day it was like 102 degrees outside and I ended up going into the, I, my mind told me just go into the jacuzzi. So I did go into a jacuzzi. <laughs> I was not rest. I was resting, but I was not like on a schedule or anything like that. Cause um, it was just, it was me, my husband and um, three of my, um, three of my best friends. We all went to Vegas together. So we were just, it was a lot of moving around. It was a lot of, um, alcohol it was a lot of just uh, us being up and about and not really resting at normal times and then me going into a jacuzzi and uh, I, listen 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 when i tell you i did not know i was pregnant i did not know i was pregnant and for the fact i'm very grateful that uh, baby j no <laughs> baby j is very healthy and he's fine, but it was uh, it's crazy because I of all the things that I participated in while we were in Vegas, and 
baby J was like, no, I'm staying. <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm staying here. So thankfully nothing happened to him, to be honest. I, but like I said, I didn't know. So after Vegas, we get back. And I believe a day or two later, after we get back from Vegas, I'm like, I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. But it wasn't just like, oh, okay, like, no, you haven't eaten all day type of hunger. It was more so like starvation hunger. And mind you, I was never on a, I was never really on a schedule of eating. Um, you know, I would eat dinner really late. I would eat breakfast really early. Or the other way around, you know, I would eat a, a late breakfast and an early dinner. But this feeling of being hungry, that starvation feeling, I was like, this feels a little familiar. It feels a little too familiar. I was just like, I'm, I'm pregnant. I already, I already knew. Once that, fe that feeling came up, I was like, I I'm pregnant. I already know I'm pregnant. I already know it. I know it. Went to Walgreens, got a pregnancy test. Um, in the last, in my last video or the video before that, the trying to conceive video, I vlogged that journey of me, like checking the pregnancy test and this, that, and the third. So I went to the store, got the pregnancy test. Lo and behold, it's a it red positive. And I was just like, okay. So in my head, I'm like, I was pregnant in Vegas. Oh. <laughs> no, poor baby. Like, no, I was pregnant in Vegas. Oh no. <laughs> like, oh, that's because the whole reason why it's such a big deal is because if I knew I was pregnant, I would not be drinking. I know how to go cold turkey with alcohol uh, or smoking cigarettes, which I have not actually really out of left field, I have not smoked or touched a cigarette since December 2018, I believe. Yeah, that was like the last time I like legit smoked a cigarette. So, you know, I know how to go cold, cold turkey when I'm committed to it. And especially if I, if, especially if I have an inkling that I'm pregnant, cold turkey. So that's why it was such a big deal. And that's why I was just like, no, like if I knew I was pregnant, I would have I would have not been drinking or participating in anything in Vegas. So I was just like, oh crap. So that was the first thing that came to my head when I got the, the when the pregnancy test read positive. I was like, oh my God, I was pregnant in Vegas and I was going into jacuzzi. I was drinking, I wasn't resting. I wasn't taking any prenatals. Like I didn't even see a doctor, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I was just like, okay, well, it is what it is. It happened. What are you gonna do about it? Like, uh, now we just gotta, wait until the, you know, wait until I make a doctor's appointment this time and the third. So that's what happened. So that was all in April and May. You know, I let CJ know, I told him, cause I took, I ended up taking like three tests or four. I think I took four, I took four tests, all were positive. Um, let CJ know, you know, we were happy. And then in June, I had two weddings to attend in New Jersey, which I vlogged the both of them. The link, I'll put the link below as well. I went um, to back to back wedding back-to-back -back wedding weekends in June. I didn't really tell anybody that I was pregnant besides like my immediate family. I didn't tell social media I was pregnant. I told, you know, my family that I was pregnant, my best friends that I was pregnant, you know, cause I wasn't even showing much, but I did begin to show early, but I, but I was still able to hide it a bit because I was just like, okay, like I could just suck it in a little bit or how, whatever I was wearing. I wasn't showing too much, but I knew I was already growing uh i was already kind of like showing to myself i knew how my body looked and i was just like ooh, like i'm showing so i let them know whatnot so obviously i didn't i wasn't drinking over there you know whether like i said i as soon as i found out quit cold turkey um so that was in june and while we, while in june when i got back from new from new jersey we uh, me and cj i already had a schedule to go see and go see the apartments because we were already apartment hunting at the time so we had, uh, there was this one apartment that they were making a new building. I didn't know they were making a new building, but, but I went to go drop off. I think it was like the security deposit or something like that. And I, and then I remember I asked the, the tent, not the tenant. Oh my gosh. I asked the landlord, property manager. I asked her, oh, do you have, can I see any of the apartments? Mind you, I didn't know that they were making a new building. And she was like, oh, um, no, because they're working on it right now, but I do have pictures. And I was like, okay uh can i see the pictures and she showed me the pictures and i was like whoa whoa wait this is what we're moving into um just 
the pictures that they have online is the old building. The old building is, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little outdated, you guys. And I, I'll show you just one picture <laughs> right here. Um, it's a little outdated. So, but I was just like, you know, humble yourself. This is not a forever thing. So I wasn't like mad at it. I was just like, and plus it was, it's the only apartment complex in, in our town that has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Because all the other places, they have either two bedrooms and two full bathrooms, or, which I don't understand, they have three bedrooms and one and a half baths. So I'm just like, no, we're going to need the third bath bedroom, and we're going to need two full bathrooms, especially because we're adding an another one to the mix. Not that we necessarily need it, need it, but, I mean, it was strongly preferred. So, and, you know, me and CJ are the type that we like to... If we could, if we could get what we want, we're gonna go for it. You know what I mean? There's certain things that we don't budge on, and there's other things that we're very flexible with. But when it came to getting the apartment, he was very adamant about us having our own bathroom, and our own shower, which I don't blame him. Instead of having just like a half bath in the master bedroom, because that's how they do it over here. She showed me pictures of the new apartment. I was like, "Whoa, that's our that's our apartment." She was like, "Yeah, it's almost it's almost done being cleaned and ready." Um, but you guys are gonna be in a new building. And I was like, wow, perfect timing. So we're, we're in a new building and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, so when will we be able to get a tour? I forgot when we, I think we ended up seeing the apartment, I think the week after or whatnot, which I will insert, um, I will insert the footage here so you guys can see how the apartment looked when it was empty uh, before we moved in or whatnot. So I do have an apartment tour. So I'll be showing that to you guys right now.
as you guys can see, the apartment is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I was like, yes, that's awesome. So we were, so she was just like, okay. After everything was finalized and whatnot, she was like, okay, you guys need to move in in July, July 1st, which is CJ's birthday. Yay. <laughs> um, and we were like, oh, is there any way we could just move in in August? Because that was originally the plan was for us to move out in August. And she was just like, um, basically no. <laughs> because um, the units were filling up fast and that's the moving date that they had for us. So we had to abide by that. And so she said, no, you guys have, you gotta move in in August. So I was just, I mean, in April, in July. And I was just like, okay, July it is like, can't argue they said that they need us to move in we signed a contract so we're moving in, in in july instead of august so that's already two things that I was completely wrong about in the last video number one when i wanted baby j to be conceived was in may not in april but it happened in april before vegas um i was wrong about three things because i didn't want to be pregnant in vegas and i was pregnant but i didn't know and then um and then um, I got the months wrong of when Baby J would have been due if I if I was to conceive at, at a certain month. Yeah, I was really off. Um, so I was wrong about that. I was wrong about that. I was wrong about, and then well, the whole move-in situation, I didn't, who would have, nobody could predict that. So July was kind of crazy because we had furniture coming in, had to set up these appointments. We were moving in, uh, try to get everything, um, you know, situated and organized all at the same time while I'm taking care of Jaden. CJ is um, had started coaching football for the high school. And that happened, I think the third week of July, I think that ha that started happening. So it was just a lot of stuff going on. I was trying to get things organized, the whole shebang. August comes around. And I think this is when CJ started really applying for his master's programs, like, you know, in different, um, different colleges or whatnot. And he did get accepted to a master's program. So proud of him. I am so proud of him. Like this is what he wanted to do and he's doing it. Like I, this man is amazing. Like that, that's besides the point. Like, but no, but he really is amazing. He got accepted into a master's program and he started his, uh, and then he started um, the first week of September along with accepting a teaching position as a fifth grade teacher in one of the intermediate schools here in this town. So that was awesome as well, because that's something that he wanted to do, was to you know be a teacher um, or you know help kids out um, and then you know get into a master's program and then actually starting it. So he's in that right now. And all the while I'm just, you know, holding it down at the house, making sure, you know, stuff is clean but that's just me as well though he's not going out and say oh you need to clean it's like no it's my I like to keep things clean I try to find putting things in different places or find a place for it um the only thing I'm really bad at which is fine is my time management I'm terrible at time management so it'll take me like a week or so to get certain things done and I'm okay with it though you know it is what it is so that was like August was busy because CJ was dealing, you know, being a football coach and then trying to apply to get the fifth grade position, which he did get, um, you know, getting everything together, you know, paperwork and all that other good stuff, along with being a, a, a football coach. So then, I'm trying to think, September comes along, you know, we just get still, you know, managing, doing our life stuff, you know, whatever, dealing with life situations nothing crazy you know baby baby jay's growing healthy or whatnot october comes along and what happened in october that was just last month and i don't remember much to be honest my brain is like super fried in october my brother asked me if i could go watch um our niece, my, my niece is basically down in um north carolina and I said, yeah, I'll go. So then I went down there, which is, that's the last video I uploaded, which I will link it below as well. Um, but I went to go take care of my niece. So I was in North Carolina, Fort Bragg, North Carolina for a week. Um, and then I came back, I took Jaden with me and then I came back and then now we're in November 
and this is before Thanksgiving and we're me and Jaden are going to New Jersey and CJ will be meeting us in New Jersey I think um, the, the following week so but this will probably be the last time we go to Jersey and I don't know when's the next time after Thanksgiving that we will be in Jersey because I am I would love to be in Jersey for December like for Christmas but it is impossible because I think Christmas week I will be 38 weeks pregnant I'm not going anywhere because <laughs> my due date is June 10th like, so I'm not going anywhere <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. And then after I have baby J, I don't know when will be the next time I'll go to New Jersey. It'll definitely be in the year 2020. I just don't know when. That's the only thing. Like, I just, I don't know when. Because I know if I go, it will be just me, Jaden, and baby J. It won't be with CJ unless we plan something and he takes off from work. The whole shebang. I hope that answers or brings you up to speed to everything that's been going on. And I will be talking about something else in my next video. I have two or three more videos planned in my head besides any vlogs that I have going on. So it's, it's cooking up up there. <laughs> I know I don't post as regular as I should, but I'm trying to get better, you guys. I promise I'm trying to get better. And now let's start answering the, the, the few questions that I got. Yay! Okay, so the first question is... How, exci how excited are you to be a mommy of two? What are you nervous about? To be quite honest, I am very excited to be a mommy of two and I am extremely nervous. I am, <laughs> I am so nervous because having, Jaden is an awesome toddler. He is, he's awesome. But of course, there comes a lot of challenges being a stay-at-home mom when, when you're with your child all day, every day. So with that being said, he can be quite a handful sometimes. You know what I mean? He can be a little bit of a handful. He, Jaden has a huge personality. And I'm sure if you ask anybody who has met Jaden, they will probably tell you the same thing. He is a stellar toddler and he brings the biggest smile to everybody's face. He has an abundance of the energy <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to keep up with that energy because i'm just like i just want to sit down he wants to run everywhere he just has a lot of energy so um and i and i'm nervous because i can only imagine how it's going to be having bringing um another baby into this into this mix so i think what i'm most nervous about is i think like more so like the lack of sleep but the all the around the clock feeding along with taking care of Jaden and making sure that he's getting the attention that he needs from me. And I think that's what I'm really nervous about is trying to divide my attention to make sure that each child is getting what they need. Cause I know obviously baby Jay is gonna be a lot more attention, but thankfully Jaden loves kids and babies. So I hope like him being like next to me or me talking to him, like it'll be just, it'll be enough like to, you know, I hope that'll be enough attention for him. And then there's a part two to this question. It says, what are you more cautious about this time around? Congrats. Aw, thank you. I am more cautious about my language, I would say, and it's not me, and it, I don't want to say more so with like, like cursing. It'll be more so with me just like, how do I say this? Um, with my tone. I'll definitely be more cautious with my tone and be more patient. Because I know with Jaden, when he was um, like a baby baby, like months and then turned like a year and I guess from the age, under the age of two, I, my patience have definitely like weaned off. I, I find my, my patience is like this, like they got this little patience right here. So I'm definitely more cautious about my patience. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think first, then react versus the other way. And that is something I'm definitely working on because it is, it is a huge, huge, huge flaw of mine. 
is that I react first and then I think. And it's just like, no, like I have to constantly remind myself that he's still a toddler. He's a toddler, he's a toddler. So that's the same thing I'm gonna have to do with baby Jake. He's just a baby, he's just a baby. Like, you know, take it in. It's not that big of a deal. My next question here says, what do you use in your hair to keep it super curly and get it nice and straight? Whoo, okay. All right, well, my hair. Okay, what do you use in your hair to keep it super curly? I've been using Garnier Fructis products for my hair. I rarely use um, gel or mousse or hairspray in my hair just because I want to try to keep it as healthy as possible if I don't need those things. Um, but I understand the, that straight conditioner does not work for everybody, which I am fully aware about. So I'll probably end up inserting some pictures so you know what, what products I use. Um, and that's how I keep it curly. Oh, and I also do end up deep conditioning it. I think, I feel like I do it like once a month. I will also insert a picture <laughs> to show you what, what it looks like because I am very, I'm very, specific of the products that I use because I know that's what works for my hair at this given like chapter of what my hair likes and what it doesn't like. So right now it's liking this a lot and it's been working. So I'm not, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's my motto. So it's been working. I'll insert pictures so you know what I, what I use to keep it super curly. Um, and then to get it nice and straight. Oh, okay, to get my hair straight. I'm I'm going to I'm going to give you just a short answer of it, but I am going to make a video of how I straighten my hair. It's not going to be that interesting, but I best best believe that this I feel like this is the perfect technique cuz I perfected it. Um along with, you know, trial and error and and seeing how like my family does it. I naturally have really curly hair. It's natural. It is natural. There's no perm in it. There there's many times in, in my pictures I don't have any gel in it. So it's not like it's anything that's like, oh, it's just keeping it together. It's like no, it literally I only have conditioner in my hair. So go figure. Um but what I do to get it nice and straight is um, I have a chi flat iron, which I know is not the greatest from what I've been told, but it works for me. Um, <laughs> and to get it nice and straight, sometimes I blow dry my hair and four, I split it into four sections and I blow dry it, but I make sure that like, it's almost at least like a, a frizz in a sense. So I blow dry it as much as I can to make sure I kind of get it like nice and down. And then, when I'm done with that, oh, yeah. And then when I'm done with that, then that's when I literally section my hair off like the way they kind of like doing it in salons. So I would go literally little pieces by piece, like this small, I think you can see it, there you go. This small, and I would just flat iron it. And also what works is me um, using a mirror, cause I do, straighten my, I do straighten my own hair. I use a mirror and every time I do a piece or whatever, and I still, I feel a lot, I take the mirror to make sure I see the back of my head to make sure that everything's laid before I start the next layer of hair. So that's how I get it straight. Those are all the questions I've gotten. Like I said, those are all the questions I've gotten.